In today's video, we will see two simple ways to transfer data from master file to different files or from master worksheet to different worksheets. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a data file which I have already created in advance. Here we have got heads like invoice number, salesperson, region, date, items, quantity sold and amount. Whenever we will update this sheet, the data will be transferred to various sheets. In this example file, the data will be transferred to different worksheets as per name or as per salesperson's name. And this is the next example sheet or second example sheet in which data will be transferred as per the region. The only thing what we have to do, we have to update our master sheet or data sheet. And the data will be divided in different worksheets as per the region. Let's start creating a new sheet now. This is a new worksheet where I have got details like invoice number, name of the salesperson, region, date, items, quantity sold and amount. And I want to divide the data as per salesperson's name. So first thing what we will have to do, we will have to select our data. I'll click on invoice number, we'll press shift control and right arrow key. Then I'll press down arrow key and the whole data will be selected. Now I'll press Ctrl T, a small box will pop up. Here we have got the option of my table has headers. If this is unchecked, please ensure to check it and do OK. So our data got converted in a very beautiful table. We will go on top and we'll remove the filter buttons. Now we will click over here and we'll insert a formula of unique plus or equal to unique bracket open. We will select name of salesperson because many names are repeated. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now only unique names are visible over here. In case you want this name alphabetically, you will have to insert the function of short just before unique. S O R T bracket open. We will come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We will type name on the top. Now we will come to the second sheet, means we will open a new worksheet. Now we will come to our first sheet. We'll copy this. Control C or Command C. We'll come over here and we'll paste it. We'll adjust the column size. We'll copy the head of salesperson and we'll paste it over here. Now we will click just under salesperson. We'll go to data, data validation. We will select list from the drop down. We will come in the source. We'll go to the first sheet and we'll select the names. We'll select few blank sales. In case the names will increase, the data will be updated. We'll click over here and we'll do OK. So the drop down list for names got created. We will change the font color. We'll make it bold. Now we will click just under invoice number and we'll insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to filter bracket open RA. We will go in data sheet and we'll select the whole data. Comma include. We have to include salesperson's name over here. So we will select the data of salesperson is equal to double inverted comma. We will type name of the salesperson Albert double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. So we have got all the data of Albert here. When we will change the name, the data is not getting changed because we have created this data only for Albert. So we will make it dynamic. One thing you'll notice over here, the active formula is sitting only in the first cell. In rest of the cells formula is not active. So we will have to do the changes only in the first cell. I'll go in formula bar. We'll delete Albert from here and we'll click on the drop down. Now I'll hit enter and the data got fully dynamic. When I'll change the name, we are able to see the data of Dylan. When I'll change the name again, we are able to see the data of Jasper. Now we will do one thing. We will go in our data sheet. We'll select the names. We'll go in insert, pivot table, a box will pop up and from here we will select existing worksheet. 
table range. We will click anywhere inside our worksheet and we'll do OK. A window will pop up on the extreme right hand side. From here, we will drag the names and we'll drop in filters box. We will close this. On the top, we are able to see pivot table analyze. We will come in the left hand side. Here we can see options. We will click on the drop down. Here we have got options. Show report filter pages and generate get pivot data. We will click on the second option, show report filter pages. And we will do OK. You will notice that different tabs or worksheets got created. We will go in extreme right hand side. And from here, we will select data and sheet 1 and will take it in the very beginning. From here, we will select data and sheet and will take it in the very beginning. Now we will delete this from here. Now we will click on the first name or first tab. We'll press shift and we'll go to the extreme right hand side and we'll click on the last name. So all the tabs got selected. We will click over here on the top and we'll press delete and all the pivot tables got deleted. We will come in the beginning. We'll click on the sheet one and we'll select it or copy it. Now again, we will click on the first name, we'll press shift and we'll go to the last tab and we'll paste our data. So data got pasted in all the sheets. We will go in view, show and we will remove the grid lines. We'll leave all the tabs selected. We'll select this. We'll go to home and we'll insert borders. We'll take this in left or center. We will click on the date, we'll right click the mouse, format cells, date and we'll select a desired date format. OK. We'll take this in left. We will select this and we'll take this in center. Whatever changes we are doing in this sheet, the data is getting updated in all the sheets. We'll make this bigger. We'll make the font size bigger. We'll take this in center. We'll increase the column size. Now we will come in the beginning and we'll click on data. Now all the tabs got unselected and all the tabs or worksheets are updated. Now we will click on first sheet and we'll change the name from here. Albert. We'll click on second sheet and we'll change the name Alexander. Third one, Aston. And in the same way, we will change all the names. So all our worksheets got updated. Whenever we will update our data, means main data, all the things will be updated. We will do some entry over here and we'll check how it works. In voice number, I'll enter 500. Name, I'll select this. Region, East, Date, I'll drag this. Items, Watch, Quantity Sold. 500, amount 75,000. Now we will go in the worksheet of Mason and we'll check the data. Invoice number 500, items, watch, quantity sold 500, amount 75,000. So this is the first way in which you can transfer data from master sheet to rest of the sheets. Now we will see the second way to transfer data from master sheet to rest of the sheets. This is our data. We will copy the heads. Control C or Command C will open a new worksheet and will paste it over here. We'll adjust the cell size or column size and we'll type helper over here. We'll select the whole row. We'll take all the things in center. We'll change the font size and we'll make it bold. Now we will click on region. We'll copy this and we'll paste over here. We'll click next to the region. We'll go to data data validation, list, and in source we will type name of all the regions, east, west, north, south, and we'll do OK. So our drop down list got created. Now we will click just under helper and we'll insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open, we will select the region, we'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged is equal to we will go in data, 
we'll select the first region comma we will select the invoice number comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter so we got our invoice number over here in helper we'll go to home we'll take this in center invoice number now we will insert the formula for invoice number and the formula will be plus or equal to small bracket open we will select helper column we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged comma we will insert the second function and that is rows we will select the first row means c4 we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged colon we will select c4 once again we'll close the bracket twice and we'll hit enter so our invoice number is over here we will insert criteria of if error just behind the formula if error bracket open we will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter sales person we will insert function of we look up over here plus or equal to we look up bracket open look up value we will select invoice number as look up value we'll insert dollar just behind c4 comma table array we will go to data sheet and we'll select the whole data we'll press function f4 comma names of the sales person are in column number 2 so we will type 2 over here comma 0 bracket close and we will hit enter so we got name of sales person over here we will insert criteria of if error just behind we look up if error bracket open we will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter now we will drag this till end in all the heads we can see name of the sales person so we will have to change the column number this was column number 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 we will click on top of date we'll right click the mouse format sales date and we will select a desired date format okay we'll take this in center we'll select this and we'll take this in center now we will select this and we'll insert borders or we'll create borders now we will select this our data is really vast so we will have to drag it down now we will hide our helper column we'll put some color over here we'll change the font color we'll make it bigger we'll put color over here also we'll change the color of the font we'll take this in mid we'll make it bigger we'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines we'll put border over here so this is the data of east when we will select west the data got changed we will take this in extreme left we'll delete one row from here we will rename this east we'll click on the worksheet we'll right click the mouse move or copy move to the end create a copy okay we will create two more copies move or copy move to end create a copy okay move or copy move to end create a copy okay so this is east this will be our west this will be north and this will be south we'll go on the top and we'll change the region south north west and this will be our east we will change the color we'll change the font color now whenever we will update this data it will be transferred to rest of the sheets automatically 
I'll provide link of this file in my description box in case you want to download you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.